Привет, друзья! Как дела? My name is Fedor. Today is practice Friday number 7, I believe. And today we're gonna revisit aspects for a simple reason. Whenever we form past, present or future, the underlying topic, the underlying base for that is aspects. And it's pretty easy to form past. The forms are very easy. Future, the forms are very easy. But what's difficult about those is to be masterful of aspects because if you don't if you don't know anything about aspects then you might as well just not try to form past or future so to revisit aspects is very important so let's just talk about aspects like the general idea behind them and why we have them and the main the theoretical parts of that so aspects there are two aspects perfective and imperfective Perfective is talking about a fact. Whenever, whenever we use perfective, our main focus is the fact itself. For example, I bought tea. We focus on the fact. We outline the fact. While in imperfective, we're focusing on a process. I was buying a tea. Like, I'm, I'm specifying, I'm focusing my attention on the process. I don't care about the fact. The process matters, okay? Second thing is that most infinitives are going to be put already in imperfective form, which means that when if you just take out an, an infinitive and you put it in the text, it's going to be imperfective, most likely. For us to change that imperfective to perfective, the most common way to do that, the most common way of changing is through, through adding a prefix. Probably like in 95% of instances, if we just you know, add a prefix to the word is going to be perfective. Of course, there are many other ways to change the aspects. And if you want to learn about that, I've linked so many videos in the, in the description. I think it's like about two or three. So you can watch it and, you know, learn more about this. This video is simply a recap, the main ideas. So two aspects, infinitives are in imperfective form, and for you to change from imperfective to perfective, add in a prefix. That's like a basic outline. Why we have it is because, how in English, for example, why, why do we have, I was wearing a shirt? Why are, we, why are we using this tense of, I was wearing? Because we are focusing on the process. Sometimes facts are not that important, are not as important as the processes. So whenever we try to switch the focus from the fact itself to the process, we're gonna use aspects. Just like I believe in any other language, we have two different you know, points of view, two different aspects of, of one action, okay? So how do aspects work in different tenses? Let's start with past. Yeah. Читал Толстого все лето. I was reading Tolstoy the entire summer. And context matters in, in, in those things, in those, you know, sentences. For example, when can we focus on the process? When process is more important than the fact itself. So, for example, when you were reading Tolstoy for the entire summer, the context may be your friend comes up to you and he says, I want to read Tolstoy tomorrow. The entire Tolstoy, all of his pieces tomorrow. And you tell him, that's just nonsense. I was reading Tolstoy for the entire summer. So that entire summer, that process, the length of the process is more important than, than the fact itself that you have read Tolstoy. Okay? So the process matters the most. Right? On the other hand, when the fact is more important is, Я прочитал журнал вчера. Я прочитал журнал вчера means I've read a journal yesterday. I read the entire journal yesterday. We don't care how long it took you. We don't care what was the journal about. We only care about the fact that you've read it. So that was uh, like one of, the, one of the instances where we would not care about the length. So context matters. So done with the past, not to the present. In present, we only can use imperfective because in the present, what's going on right now, everything is going to be a process. Okay, because there, there is no such action that, that doesn't take time. You know, all the things take time. Maybe it's one second, maybe it's one hour. And in the present, 
we are only going to be using imperfective because we're going to be talking about a process. For example, я записываю это видео. I am recording this video. You know, it's a process. I cannot talk about this as a fact. I'm talking, I'm referring to this as a process. Present is pretty simple. Now, future. Я буду спать всю ночь. I will be sleeping for the entire night. Again, context matters. When would we focus on the process? For example, your friend is asking you, let's go to the club today. You know, let's go out. And you say, I'm going to be sleeping for the entire night. You know, you, are, you want to specify that at that time, when he wants to go out, you're going to be sleeping. The process here matters. The fact that at that time, you're going to be in the process of sleeping is the most important thing. That's what you are outlining. Okay? Another, you know, another aspect of this can be, я посплю в восемь вечера. Okay? I will sleep at eight o'clock. The fact matters. You're not, you're not focusing on the process here. You only say that you're going to be sleeping, that you, sorry, that you will go to sleep at eight o'clock. Okay? The fact itself matters more than the process of you sleeping. I hope that, I hope that this is clear now. So, Talking about all of these, you know, past, present, and future, we see that aspects exist in each of them. What's the most difficult thing is not understanding aspects, to be honest. It's for you to come up with them quickly and for you to understand exactly when you need to use them, okay? And also kind of expanding your vocabulary when it comes to different words being put in different aspects. Okay, for example, you can know one word, but you don't know how to put it in, in a perfective form, for example, then pretty much there is no use of that word. So you have to expand your vocabulary and you have to expand your knowledge on different words in different aspects. Okay, so since it's practice Friday, uh, this, is, this is the exercise for today. I don't want you to do anything. Just answer two questions. First one is... Are you a master of aspects? Did you master aspects? Are you in full control of aspects whenever you use them? Yes or no? If yes, if you are a master, sorry, before we go there, master means, notice that I didn't ask you, do you know aspects? I didn't ask you that. I didn't ask you, do you understand aspects? I didn't ask you that. Because if you only understand, then you probably have never used it. You know, but if you are a master of aspects, then that means that you know about the topic, you understand it, you have used it enough to become comfortable with that topic, and you can use it at any point of time, whether it's today or a year from now, because you've mastered it. Whenever you master something, there is no way that you can forget in like a month or two. If you have mastered it, even if you're asleep, if, you, if, if somebody wakes you up, you can tell them exactly what it is. Because it's so like deep into your memory, in, into your brain, that it's not a problem for you to kind of take it out of, of brain and give it to people. Okay? So, are you a master of aspects? If yes, second question is, how did you master it? Share with others. How did you do it? What have you done? What videos have you watched? What ex exercises have you completed? Okay, so share with others. It's going to be very helpful. If the answer is no, that you are not a master of aspects, then what are your shortcomings? What do you have to improve upon for you to become a master of aspects? And there is a reason why I make this video every week and not every day. I want to give you a week for you to study a topic. When you come back next week, you already know the subject enough for us to move forward. If I only give you a day, it's not enough to master. It's enough to know. It's enough to maybe understand, but it's not enough to master. Okay? So, if your answer was no, and if you know your shortcomings, spend this week learning aspects. A year from now, you're going to be very thankful for me making you do this. Because aspects is such a, is such a basic, is such a you know, foundation of Russian that without it, it's very hard to learn pretty much anything or any any verb construction okay so a week from now next practice friday please come back being masterful of aspects
okay? And you can always reach out to me and ask for feedback and ask for advice because I will always, always, always give it to you. So, are you a master of Russian? Oh, sorry. Are you a master of aspects? What did you do to become a master? And if you're not a master, what are you going to do for this entire week before the next practice Friday? That's it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the comments. I'll help those who are not masters of aspects however I can. So put your comments underneath. I'm going to always check them and always respond. Спасибо. Пока-пока.